I admit it. I'm waffling. I'm a waffle. I'm a damn Belgian waffle full with whipped cream. Just serve me up with something scattered, smothered, and covered on the side. I know, I've said that I like this wild card deal. I think it's fun, it brings some extra intrigue. I like that it gives us something to talk about, another storyline to follow. But now, I'm starting to turn. I'm a waffling. That's because I see the guys who stand to earn the wild card berth. I see that David Reagan is probably going to get a wild card berth now. What if Brad Keselowski or Regan Smith or Marcus Ambrose or Juan Pablo Montoya get one of those wild card berths? Really? Are those guys going to be able to make any noise in the playoffs? Any noise at all in the chase for the championship? None of those guys, none of them, and I think they would admit this have a snowball's chance of winning a championship. So should they be in the chase? I say nay, nay they shall not. No. So what's the point? Why should they be in there if they're not in a position to actually make a run to the championship? If you look at the uh, stick and ball sports and you look at the way their wild cards are set up, it's the next best team, right? Look at the NFL. So you can have a situation where the wild card wins the Super Bowl like the Green Bay Packers just did, or the Boston Red Sox win the World Series. It is highly unlikely. I don't care if 10 guys are in the playoffs or, or 12 guys in the chase. It doesn't matter a hill of beans to me. Basically what you've done with this wild card thing is you've got 10 legitimate guys in the chase and then two guys who are just taking up space, not vying for the championship. Potentially, unless the wild card falls to Tony Stewart and Denny Hamlin, you're not going to have a wild card winner make a play for the championship in NASCAR. So isn't it just a wasted spot? Look, if that's worth it to you to sort of give you another storyline and make it a little bit more interesting leading up to Richmond, okay. But let's not kid ourselves into thinking that the recipient of that wild card berth actually has a play at the championship. Rowdy.com. Say it like it is. Say what like it is. Rowdy.com.